Welcome. Here we are at the cliffs. We're at the uh, site for the Spa and Wellness Center. Uh, and you want to talk about incredible folks. We're at about 3,700 feet elevation and uh, a view that is just unparalleled to anything else out there. I was over here looking at the floor plans of the spa. And one thing I noticed looking at the plans, you will find some similarities with the Grove Park Inn. For instance, this lower level, you know, they're talking about doing the spa facility with, uh, you know, you get the massages, you might go out in the pool, the hot tub, things like that. But look at the views. I've been to the Grove Park Inn, love it. It's a it just spectacular place. But let me tell you something, folks. This view is much better than the Grove Park Inn. I mean, it's not even in the same category. Uh, you know, when you're talking about the same type of facility, uh, I know for one, my wife would certainly enjoy this more. Now, if we go just to the right of little uh, gazebo hut here, that's kind of where the restaurant will be. Looking back out west, um, you know, and you're talking about some just unbelievable sunsets because, folks, I, I'm not even sure how many miles we are looking at there, but uh, I would venture to say at least 50. And uh, it, I mean, just incredible. Um, the highest portion, if you come up here to the High Carolinas, as we go back to the left, we're going to pick up a ridge that's about 4,200 feet above sea level. Now, from from that ridge, you look on the other side, you look all the way back towards Charlotte. And the way the golf course is set up, you'll pick up, uh, as you can see, some of the holes are cleared out down below. That's actually, the golf course will be just right over this little ridge of, of parking lot into that valley. But the golf clubhouse will look over the entire golf course uh, and will look over, as you can see, back to the right, uh, back to the, you know, to the south, um, to, the, to the mountains that direction. If you look to the north, you'll be looking back towards Mount Mitchell area in that direction. So uh, just incredible, incredible property. It's going to be like a bowl effect or an arena uh, where you're going to have home sites along the ridge lines up there that, that really not only pick up the golf course, but again, these just tremendous views. And they've already sold properties along the far end over there, a uh, ridge line for anywhere from two and a half million to three million dollars. So just incredible. Another thing I want to point out as I'm standing down here, you see this really cool fire pit and these big boulders. As they've come up the parkway here, they've you know obviously run into rock being on a mountain and they're utilizing all this rock and will in the golf course, I'm sure in the buildings that they build, in the landscaping, uh, building up roads and just in general the aesthetics uh, throughout this wonderful place. So it, what a great, great um, uh, a source, I guess, a resource that you have there just for all the rock. Because I don't know if you've priced rock, but it's very expensive and uh, they do it by the pound and they've literally got probably millions of pounds of rock up here to utilize just for the aesthetic beauty of this wonderful place. Um, you know, you talk about land up in this area. We are only 4.5 miles from the city limits of Asheville up here. You're talking about a location. I mean, it's just incredible. Um, you've got the Pisgah Park going back this direction. So to find a piece of property like this, Jim Anthony has really outdone himself, folks, because, you know, there'll never be anything else quite like this in this area. And that's what makes this so special. And not only that, and, and you can certainly understand why Tiger Woods chose this for to be his first golf course. So we've got a buyer calling right there. Somebody's already ready to, this is a Florida number, so they're already ready to come up. I'm telling you, it feels great today. Here we are in November, and I'm sitting here in shorts. But I'm going to tell you, you couldn't have picked a better day. Let's sit back and enjoy this, and we'll move from here. We'll head over to uh, that direction and take a look at the golf course because I can hear some equipment moving today. So they're busy working on that course as we uh, sit here and talk about it today. Here we are, as you can see behind me, we've got a rendering of the uh, cliffs at High Carolina Clubhouse. The clubhouse actually will be back behind us over in this area, but what I wanted to point out first of all, as we look over this ridge, this will be the 18th green. Now the 18th hole is a par four uh, that will be coming you know, down through this area. From the back tees, we're talking 511 yards all the way up to the front tees, 312 yards. Can you imagine 18th hole, you're sitting out here, taking a putt and you've got a putt going that direction towards that view. I mean, just tremendous, tremendous. Um, as we look over here and you, you see this mound, that's number 10. 
uh, tee box going back out. It'll be a slight dog leg to the left. And then again, you can see some of the equipment working up on the hills as the golf course will, will tail out up that direction. Uh, folks, you know, you're talking about a go golf course, as you can tell just by looking at these two holes, that is very walkable. I mean, yes, you are up in a mountain. Yes, you're 3,700 you know, feet above uh, sea level. But this is something you could get out here and walk. And uh, certainly you don't have to, but, but you could. Um, the clubhouse itself will be right where you're looking now, and again, that is just a, a nice high ridge. As you can see, we'll look over the entire valley and pick up um, virtually every hole that will be on this golf course. And uh, again, home sites up in the hills around it, and you can see what we're talking about with the bowl effect. So, uh, boy, this is going to be awesome. I can't wait to, to tee it up and play. Now, the, the company that's come in here, Medalist Golf, is doing the construction for the golf course and they're well known throughout. They've got a great name and you know they're going to do everything top quality. Look at all that rock they've just got set aside over there just to utilize throughout the golf course. Alright, let's head up to some higher elevations and take some shots from there. Wow, here we are at, I mean, just look at the view. I mean, th this is incredible. If you look out, uh, there's a, a mountain in the distance with a tower on top. That is, that is Mount Pisgah. Uh, from that point, you've got, you know, Mount Pisgah Park, National Forest, Nantahala, along with there are roughly five parks that will encompass about a million acres of land that will never, ever be developed. And you go into the old supply and demand, I mean, if you got a property like that and virtually it, it's everything beyond, if we go to the right, uh, Matt, if you roll back to the right, you've got the two towers and again, that's part of the property that'll be looking back this way over the golf course. Just over the, to that hill or that mountain, you've got 4.8 miles to Asheville. Everything beyond that in essence is part of that million acres worth of national forest land. So again, you can just see just how special this is. I mean, this is incredible. As we look down, this is the, the area we were shooting below. You can see the trailer. That's where the um, golf uh, clubhouse will be. Below the trailers, the 18th green, and then go above the trailer to that pad. That's the wellness spa area. And uh, I mean, this is just phenomenal. Tell you what, we're going to walk around because we'll go to the other side of this point and uh, look back towards uh, Charlotte. That direction. Let's come back up over here. All right, we'll, we'll roll back over here. Come through this little gap. It's hard to say, you know, what this site will be. I mean, just how much money, you know, when Jim decides to put a price on it, if he does. Uh, but you got to believe it'd be over $5 million to get something like this because this is one of a kind. This is just tremendous. We're looking back towards Charlotte now. And, uh, wow, hey, this has got to be, you know, one of the most awesome views I've ever seen in my life. And that includes being out west. Special place. Here we are at lot JH12, and uh, this is one that has, has sold. We're looking directly across at the Blue Ridge Parkway. In fact, I don't know if you can see it from the video, but about three-fourths of the way up that ridge, you can see a cut line, and that is actually the Blue Ridge Parkway. And uh, one thing, an interesting little history note, the grandfather, Whitmire family, who was the, the grandson of the Whitmire family who built the Blue Ridge Parkway, is actually doing the roads uh, here at the, uh, the Cliffs community. High Mountain, so or High Carolina, but um, you know, so I thought that was kind of cool. But what a view! And as far as we know, this kind of set a new high on lots or residential lots that have sold in this area. This lot sold for three million dollars, and just incredible. Now, asphalt itself, as we go around this ridge that we're looking at now, is just around the corner, and again, 4.8 miles that direction. If we go over the other side of this ridge, we look back towards the valley. Uh, to the golf course, and uh, that's an interesting tree right over there in front of us. We call it the octopus tree, but uh, I'm sure that was one of the reasons these folks bought this property. But again, just incredible place. Uh, we'll, we'll finish up here with our uh, video excursion here today at the cliffs. But again, I mean, you know, this is a one of a kind of place, and uh, looking forward to a couple years when they open up the golf course and one day the spa and and all of those things so we can get up here and utilize all these wonderful amenities.
and the view itself.